Hey everyone, welcome back y'all. We are back to work on our budget for the third week of September. Y'all, I am so far behind still. I am playing catch up and I'm hoping by the end of this week to finally be caught up with everything. I apologize if my voice goes in and out at the very beginning here because I have got a very, very sore throat. I'm getting a little tired of the weather over here. We are hitting the mid to lower 60s during the night and I love it but during the day we're still in the 80s y'all we're hitting 83 84 today and I am not a happy camper I am a total complete winter snow buddy I kid you not my Goldilocks zone is between 20 and 50 degrees and it may be even closer to the 20 range <laughs> but with that being said let's go ahead and talk about our budget a couple of changes I'm going to be making with this budget something new that's coming on board something that's going to be added in the next month and things of that nature. So, y'all know I get paid once a month. I do not get magic months where I get an extra paycheck or anything of that nature. If you do, I'm super duper happy for all of you. I'm like, yes, get that extra pay. Unfortunately for me, I don't get that, um, but that's okay. We just work with what we have and we're thankful for what we have here at our house. So with that being said, from last week, we have rolled over $1,939. So, y'all, all bills are paid at the beginning of the month, except for high vee grocery delivery now. I've already taken this and added it to my account because I used my credit card. So now it's time to pay the credit card off, the $13 I owe them, the $12.99, I should say. But for whole number purposes and being friendly with math, we're just rounding it to 13. So I am adding high vee grocery delivery to my arsenal of delivery options. I do have Instacart, I also have Walmart. And from time to time, I will go to Walmart. I do not like going to Walmart, I'll be real honest. I don't like the atmosphere. I don't like the layout of the store. And I don't like being around a whole bunch of people. If you don't know, I'm very, very much a homebody. And I like to just use Walmart grocery delivery, Hy-Vee grocery delivery, Instacart grocery delivery. And the reason I do is because I can click things with my fingers and I can shop in 15 minutes for something that would take somebody an hour and a half in the store to go try to get and buy and get out. I also am blind, so I have to take Uber everywhere I go, and Uber is so expensive. So, Hyvee Grocery Delivery is jumping on board because I've been having some really good sales, and it would defeat the purpose of me going up there and back around because a round trip to Hyvee, which is two and a half miles up, it's not that far away from my veterinarian's office, and two and a half miles back home to my house, round trip of five miles, can cost me in the upwards of anywhere of 18 up to $23 round trip. That would defeat the purpose of picking up any sale items. But if I have Hyvee grocery delivery, bring it to me. I don't have to pay a delivery fee. I do pay a tip, but I don't pay a delivery fee. So $13 for Hyvee grocery delivery is coming on board. That brings my total down to $1,926. Now I've made a boo-boo here and no one's called me out on it. Y'all need to be calling me out on this stuff. For variable spending, I am very new to the budget by paycheck workbook system by the budget mom. This is my first year using it. I kind of had some negatives about it right off the bat until I started using it. Now I love it. <laughs> I'm going to eat my words, y'all. Just keep making me eat these words. So here's what I did. Um, I'm assuming I was supposed to put my variable spending. So it says variable expenses, not putting it into and cash stuffing. It says expenditures. So Grocery, I am taking and have already done so because the grocery haul is already done. Y'all need to see it. I'll be putting that up here shortly. $40 came out of groceries, but I did not add any grocery money this month to my groceries for this week. For this month I did, but not for this week because um, I do this on a weekly basis. But with that being said, $40 was already in my grocery envelope still. I still had money in my envelope and I still do. But with that being said, I pulled 40 out of there, but I'm not adding any grocery money this week. So with that being said, that's fine. But that is not gonna be reflected into this amount coming down to the total after variable spending because that's not coming from the $1,926, okay? Because I'm not pulling that from my weekly amount, I am pull or my rollover amount, I should say. I am pulling that from an envelope that I already had money sitting in there. However, the buffer, okay, we're not putting anything into Uber, which is AKA gas, because I'm considering that fully funded right now because we're not taking as many trips. 
But with that being said, buffer should really be going over to sinking funds because even though it's a veritable buffer, and y'all, yes, it's a veritable buffer. So if anything happens with I've got not enough money for groceries or gas or I'm over, I'll pull from that buffer versus going to my bank and pulling from a buffer in my bank. So I do have a buffer in all my binders, okay? I have a buffer in all my binders because if something happens, I'll pull from that buffer. I don't wanna pull from other envelopes and screw other envelopes up with their amounts because I'm saving for something else in that envelope. I don't wanna say, let's pull from, I don't know, Christmas to pay for gas or pay, pull from Thanksgiving to pay for groceries, I, holiday spending, you know what I'm saying. So no, I always have a buffer in, in every single binder that I have for that specific reason. If I go over with anything in that binder, I'm gonna pull it from buffer and nowhere else. So buffer should really be in the cash envelope stuffing or sinking funds. So I did put plus 10, which means I am taking that $10 out of the 1,926, giving me $1,916 after variable. Now that's not a expenditure, so I shouldn't have put it there. I should have put it, I don't know where I should have put it. I guess I guess should have just put it up in sinking funds. I think, I think I'm right with that. Y'all tell me if I'm doing this right or not. Again, I am very, very new to this. So maybe I should have put it in sinking funds because I'm actually putting money into Buffer and not taking it from it. So that's what's going on right now and that's where there's a mess up. When you see the $40 for the groceries down here at the bottom, again, that came out of an envelope that already has money in it. So I'm not taking from the top total up here. So that's why I got the 1,916. Moving over to cash envelopes, Y'all, for my sinking funds, um, let's talk about this a little bit because I'm gonna make some changes here. Before I do that, let's go back over here and jump real quick. My fixed expenses, I am gonna have a higher income coming in on the amount that I will be paying for Verizon in October because I'm buying my son a new iPhone. His 64 gigabyte iPhone SE has finally crapped out, so it's time to buy his new iPhone. I'm looking at options right now. So just letting you know ahead of time that in fixed expenses for next month in October, you'll see that the Verizon bill will be a little higher. I just don't know which iPhone I'm buying him yet. So with that being said, let's jump back over to sinking funds. I am so sorry, I'm so scattered brain today, but I'm not feeling the best. So I'm just kind of like, uh, mode today. Instead of writing out the 100 to the $1,000 challenge that I have, it's a packet that I have that me and my son created. Love it, love it, love it. When I save, and I complete every single one of these savings challenges, I will have a total of $5,500 saved. And I love the way we're doing this. I'm just in love with this challenge. The $100 challenge, instead, I'm gonna uh, apologize. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm all over the place. The next time I'm just gonna use the cell and put 100-1K and then I'll put a total amount and then later on I'll break it down when I'm doing my uh, cash stuffing. So I apologize. I am just all over the place, y'all, today. Just kind of hang in there with me because I'm almost done. The $100 envelope challenge, we're actually going to finish that challenge this week. We're going to put $37 into there. When we finish that challenge, I will have my son print out another $100 challenge and we'll do it again. I have deemed that challenge to be our veritable spending buffer. So I will take that 100 and I will dump it into veritable spending buffer to kind of increase that buffer. And if I'm thinking things are right, I should have about 264 or $265 in my variable buffer right now. So if I decide I don't wanna pull money for groceries, then I don't have to pull money for groceries. I can literally just go to my buffer and yank money out of there instead of pulling it out of a weekly amount that I am allocating for myself. So that's what we're gonna do. And moving forward, I am gonna each week have my kids use a different color colored pencil. Y'all, I just been giving them the same color colored pencil. So you don't know from week to week which number we're coloring in. I do tell you guys what we're coloring in, but I think it would be better to represent it if I give it a different color for each week. So we're gonna be moving forward with that as well. The $200 challenge is actually mommy's spending money. And that is actually going towards an extra debt payment for our firm right now. As I've told you before, our firm account is going to be on rotation for quite some time, revolving I should say, because as I'm paying off a lot of things on there, I'm adding new things and then I'm paying it down and then I'm adding new things. I could wait and save up little by little to get these items. I'm not doing that. There is a reason and a method for my madness right now when it comes to what we're using a firm for 
and it works fine. So with that being said, we will be putting in $27 for that. The next challenge is for my pets. That is my four chihuahuas. That is Jaya, Tucker, Bella, and Romeo. And that is 300. Now that's not the only pet challenge that I have and am doing, but that is one that I am going to be moving that over into different categories. I will be rearranging those categories here shortly uh, because I wanna give each dog their own envelope versus three separate envelopes that I've been working on. Now the emergency vet, you know, that probably should stay by itself, but their personal care and things of that nature, and Jaya needs a little bit more medication, uh, money for medication and things of that nature because she's got epilepsy. I wanna make their own envelope. So I have my daughter custom creating me some stickers that are gonna go on their binder envelopes, and we're gonna work it that way. Uh, she'll be making those here in the next week or so. The $400 challenge is the back to bank buffer. So when that is completed, that will give me an extra $400 to put back into my bank and make sure that I have a larger buffer. The more buffer you have, the better off you are, y'all. And that one will actually be directly into my bank. And the $200 one that I've been talking about will go directly to a firm as soon as that is um, fully funded and I have to redo the challenge again. The $500 challenge actually is for summer groceries, y'all. We are putting $20 in there. If I didn't mention the $400 challenge, we're putting 30 in. The $500 challenge, again, we are putting $20 in. That is for summer groceries for my kids who eat like they're, like they're part of an NFL team. But I'm telling you right now, my paycheck doesn't look like an NFL payers, player's paycheck. But my kids can eat me out of house and home in a minute's notice. So... I got three grown teenagers, y'all, and two of them are well above average for their height. Danya is 14. She wears a size women's 12 shoe, and she's five foot nine. Philip is 12. I'm calling him a teenager because, y'all, he's five foot seven already, and he wears a size 10 and a half in men's. Okay, and Jessica, <laughs> my evil twin daughter, <laughs> I'll call her. She um, is very, very super tiny. She's not going to grow anymore. She's 13. And she's only four foot eleven. She's really tiny though. She was an eight and a half size shoe. Oh y'all, they got big feet. I don't know why. <laughs> but the six hundred dollar challenge, and that's why I'm I'm doing groceries for summer now, not later. <laughs> the six hundred dollar challenge is for Etsy. I'm working on some really cool products for Etsy. I'm getting ready to upload two of them in early October. Um, so that's going to be so super cool, and I can't wait for those to launch. So when that does. I'm going to be excited, but I'm putting $50 in towards Etsy stock up, and that's just for stocking up my shop. We haven't uploaded anything in a while, but I've got things on the back burner, and I got things already in the works. The $700 challenge is going to be receiving $25, and that's for anything household related. Now, let's talk about this real quick, just so you understand. Once the $700 is already fully funded for that challenge, I will have my son print out another $700 challenge sheet. But for example, once that's all done, 700 for household. This is a household binder, y'all. And in here, there are envelopes and it's already got money in here that I can take out from whenever I need to and pull from here in household. Now, I believe this has more than just household in here, but um, with that being said, I can pull from here and uh, put into the household related envelopes and I can decide what amount goes into which envelope for household. For example, household items that I need to stock up on. Maybe it's toiletries, maybe it's cleaning products, maybe it's whatever I need for the household, that's what we're doing. So I'm just letting you know, once these challenges are done, I will pull the money and decide where they're gonna go within that challenge category. The $800 challenge is emergency cash. That can be anything from emergency cash that I need to have on hand, AKA a buffer. For emergency purposes, that can be getting months ahead again that could be anything i need for prepper pantry stock up that can be for prepper pantry items such as a new solar generator things of that nature the 900 or the 800 challenge is getting 20 dollars. i apologize the 900 challenge is being split between my three kids now i'm having tori which is my oldest daughter make up some additional envelope stickers for me she's going to make one up with jessica's name she's going to make one up with Phillip's name, and then Danya's already got her high school binder, so I need to be working in that quite a bit. So Jessica's gonna get 300 in her envelope, Philip will get 300 in his envelope, Danya will get 300 split between 
um, a personal envelope I need to put in there as well as what's already in her high school binder, y'all, because I just got notification. Well, we're going to put $30 into that $900 challenge. I just got notification that my daughter did get approved for free lunch. Now, I'm not sure how that happened because I did turn in all my information. I don't know if they've raised the amounts that you need to make for a household of one, two, three, four, but that is what it is. Um, I turned in everything and I was honest on everything and she does not have to pay for lunch this year. Last year she had to pay for um, reduced lunch. This year she doesn't. So she's doing breakfast and lunch at school, but y'all know I had meal money. So that meal money is actually going to be taking the place of her K-cups because <laughs> at school they are charging $2 for a K-cup. A lot of teachers have K-cups in their Keurigs, I should say, in their classrooms. Kids are allowed to use them. Danya has a place where she could take creamer. <laughs> Not many people do, but she's got a really special teacher who's really awesome and loves Danya and allows Danya to take a whole thing of, of caramel macchiato creamer to her office and put it in a little fridge. She can go there and dump it, dump that creamer into her, her mug, um, traveling mug, and then go get a K-cup and then make her coffee, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I'm going to be using that for her K-cups because, y'all, K-cups, she ain't telling me how cheap these things are not okay they are expensive and I use a, re, a reusable k-cup here at the house and I just use loose coffee and just dump it in my k-cup that's reusable but y'all somebody better tell me how expensive these k-cups are getting because when I've seen the prices online I'm like $48 for 96 cups of coffee are you nuts <laughs> for k-cups k-cups oh my gosh 96 k-cups okay anyways let me get off my soapbox <laughs> And then the last one is the $1,000 challenge, and that is for us to be able to move uh, uh, for moving costs, for making sure when I move out of this house, y'all, I'm going to make sure that I have a house cleaner come in and do a move out cleaning. I want the next people to come in to have this house spotless before they move in. And I will also need like daycare money, things of that nature, put my dogs in daycare where we're moving everything out. It won't take us very long. I have downsized our house by 85%, so it ain't going to take me nothing to uh, go ahead and move. Um, I'm very organized like that. So with that being said, that's $299 into sinking funds for this week. Y'all, that brings us down to $1,617. All right, so let's talk about the extra debt. We're gonna throw an extra $100 at a firm. When we do, that's gonna bring me down to roughly around $1,644 that we will owe a firm. Yes, y'all, I've been buying like I'm a millionaire and um, mm, now I'm nowhere near that, that kind of paycheck. But there are things we need and or want and the needs will always come before the wants. But I did a video a short time ago, tells you the real reason why we're back in debt. You might wanna watch the very end of that video, it explains everything to you. So after that $100 is done, then we will have a running total for next week for $1,517. So y'all, Right, my uh, a firm account's gonna be revolving for quite some time because I'm still looking at anywhere between six and 6,000 and up of things that I need to get and or want and or getting for my children. And I don't have a problem with the way I'm doing it because y'all, I could wait and wait to get that and then do it little by little, but that's not the approach I'm taking right now. That's the only debt I have other than until my son's phone comes up around the corner. But that's probably going to only be in like the 20 something dollar range, $30 range when I buy that phone for him because I am going to put it on a Verizon plan with 0% interest for the entire life of the paying off the device. So I'm not really too worried about any of this. So I'm very happy at the items that we have. I will be giving you an updated list for October of what I'm planning to get from a firm. No, y'all. Sorry, I'm not sharing a list with nobody. I'm not allowing anybody to buy anything for me. Um, I've had people ask me for my address to purchase things for me and y'all with the economy right now and everybody struggling i don't want anybody to buy anything for me i would rather see you stuff that money in an envelope put it towards extra debt payments put it towards yourself or coffee whatever you enjoy uh having or things of that nature but i do kind of want to give you a little rundown list of things that we've purchased and things that we are going to be purchasing and things of that nature just to give you an idea of why my firm account is looking like a crazy crazy amount so Questions, comments, concerns, and or suggestions, throw it at me in the comment section down below. Always feel free to 
private message me on Instagram. That is my uh, Instagram name is linked down below as well. And also my email if you want to get a hold of me there. If you need to private message me and don't want to leave me um, any kind of a message inside of a comment, but you had any additional questions and or concerns or suggestions or things like that that you may not want to leave in the comment section, please always feel free to do that as well. We will catch you in the next video, which is cash stuffing for the third week of September. And then we'll be rolling on to the fourth week after we show you our little grocery haul. All right, y'all, we'll catch you in the next video. Without Limits is out.